Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Talking with Michael. Michael, I am Michael Maker, and today we've got Miss Rena JD of Triple X Indulgence Boutique. XXX Indulgence Boutique. <laughs> So, yeah, so this is part two. Um, this will be, I'm going to title it Sex Energy. Yes. Because uh, we're going to get deep. Deep. In, in this, in this, in this Let's part do it. Of it. Let's do and it. And those of you watching it live on Facebook, you just keep riding with us, and we really appreciate it. Right on. So, it's interesting. In um, quoting a, a few um, yogis, mm -hmm. uh, this one in particular was talking about, um, you know, there's um, Tantra sex and, mm -hmm. and that. And he's saying that a lot of the books have it wrong. Um, and you could really mess up your your chakras if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, definitely. And um, so that's so that's a, I, I think this is great, especially when it comes in a situation of healing or just keeping relationships together. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that energy of people not not taking it to the next level, not realizing this is that it's not trying to get the higher high because this could slowly start becoming a drug but going deeper within yourself and making a deeper connection. Mm -hmm. So as a therapist, how do you facilitate that? Um, again, I ask them what they want, what they're looking for. Okay. Because there are people that, um, like I said, if you're desiring more mm -hmm. from your partner, mm -hmm. if you're desiring to go deeper, then that needs to be communicated. But it starts with communication between you and your partner or your partners. Okay. So the first thing is you have to understand what it is that you want mm -hmm. and what it is that you need to satisfy yourself and then find, make sure that you and your partner are aligned in that way. So... The, the, the issue that usually happens is that there's one partner that will reach that place mm -hmm. and the other one's like, huh, maybe, uh, <laughs> possibly. Uh. So then there's <laughs> one that's kind of trying to pull the other one. But if that partner really cares for you mm -hmm. and cares about the relationship, they will usually do at least the bare minimum, mm -hmm. which would be probably in tantric, probably um, engaging, engaging in some eye gazing, some breathing exercises where you can actually feel the energy exchange. And um, we actually have a, um, an event coming up on the 30th at my boutique um, called Juicy Awakenings, which is like an intro to Tantra to kind of get you and your partner or just you to just get you to breathe and to be able to harbor that sexual energy and channel it within your own body to be able to control your own orgasm, whether you have one or not, whether you choose to edge or whether you choose to go over the edge, mm -hmm. it's completely up to you, but it's ultimately starts with what is it that you want? Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, how has this affect your awareness in your own personal sexual life? It's definitely made me more aware. Okay. I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect because I'm not, because You're not honestly, perfect? I know. Can you believe it? That's crazy. I know. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on it. No, but um, I'm not perfect, of course, but it does make me kind of look at the man in the mirror okay. and see, okay, you're talking about this, so mm -hmm. what are you doing about it? Mm -hmm. And what I have to do and what I've been trying to work on within myself mm -hmm. is I give so much of myself that when I come home, I'm spent. Like, wow. literally, by the time I get home, I'm like... All right, then. I'm take a shower. Go to sleep. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, literally. I love you. I'm out. And I mean, literally, it went from kisses on the lips to, all right, I'm going to sleep. Like, and my husband laughs. He'd be like, that's not a kiss. I'd be like, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, it's one of those situations. But because we're friends first, nice. Mm. Um, he can appreciate who I am. You know what mm. I mean? And the funny thing is, like, to know. Um, to know us and to see us together, you'd be like, you guys are total opposites. Yeah, we are. Oh, really? <laughs> very much. Wow. Very much. But he's very snide and cynical and, you know, little snide comments. Very intelligent. But, um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had a... Remember that... The, the, oh, man. What cartoon is that? The guy with the helmet and he had those... The mustache. The, the wacky races. I think his name is Schneid. Schneid. Was it, are you talking about Looney Tunes? Um, Hanna-Barbera. Uh -huh. I don't know. You just had an image. 
For those that know what I'm talking about, leave no. comments. <laughs> Please leave, leave comments. Because I don't know. He's like, he's you're kinda, not. You're, like, kinda, you're, 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 dating, you're dating yourself. Because yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I dated myself when I said the Smurfs, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Everyone has Cartoon Network. There you go. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Actually, there are uh, there are like three networks with just cartoons on them now. Really? Which is really kind of awesome. Yeah. But are they good cartoons? No, there's, oh, there's dirty one, one just like straight up just just old school before your time cartoons. Is that Boomerang? Boomerang, yeah. Boomerang yes. is one of them. Cartoon mm-hmm. Boomerang is number one, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 And also, but also you realize all the sexual and racist stuff. And cartoons that Don't you, you never exactly that you before. never considered it before. Right, the undertones they're there. Yeah, they're there. They're there. Yeah, they're there. So yeah, so you know, chakra burnout is is is, is a real thing, and um, you know that that was that was only my my concern of like how do you address that and and as you elevate and as you grow, do you find yourself looking at different things? differently and giving different advice that you would have one thousand percent yes one thousand percent yes and i will tell you and i have Mm -hmm. said it before and i know that people squirm in their seats and they feel some type of way when i say it but Mm -hmm. i as as a person that has been married for over 15 years congratulations um, thank you because that's an accomplishment yes indeed um i will say Although I believe and I trust what I've been taught, Mm -hmm. I believe and trust in what the Bible says and what my faith teaches. Mm -hmm. However, Mm -hmm. um, I will absolutely say if you are planning to get married, where am I talking? If you're planning on getting married, we're here. If you're planning to get married and Mm -hmm. you are Christian, you are a faith believer, you need to test the waters. Period. End of story. Because you're not going to buy a car. Mm. without driving it first. I would hope you wouldn't. Mm. You're not going to rely on someone saying, no, it drives really well. You <laughs> haven't started the car. You don't know if it got a clunk in it. You don't know <laughs> if it's dripping oil. You don't know. You have no oh. clue. All you know is on the outside, that car looks so good. And you sit on the inside, you're like, ooh, supple seats, nice supple leather. But you never start the car. You never took the car for a test drive around nothing. Mm. You don't know if it's going to get on I-95 and not be able to pick up speed. You don't <laughs> know what this car is going to do. All you know is that the car looks good and you mm. thank the Lord for you. Thank you, Jesus. But then you could get into mm. this long-term relationship and marriage is one of the only contracts that you enter into mm-hmm. that it takes hell and high water for you to get out of because it never expires. Oh, wow. Think about it. What other something do you sign your name and get into that they say now nah, you just you want to get out of it okay pay me x amount of money and you have to wait a certain amount of time and you have to do this and that and you gotta split all the assets and you got mortgage no because after 30 40 years you, you it's paid off it's not indefinite oh wow so it's as long not, as you eat well and do exercises and wow wow that's interesting so think you, about it Wow. What other contract does any of us enter into? You could enter it into your 20s, into your teens, hell, 18, you could, you could get married. Mm-hmm. And you literally are expected to be married to this person forever. <laughs> no, I ain't even giving the er. Forever. <laughs> there you go. Dun, 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 dun. So, so test you just the water. scared half of the people. You should be scared. This. You should be. You should be scared. Because people talk about, I'm in a committed relationship, if there's ever such a thing. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're not married, you're single. So don't say, I'm in a committed relationship, but you've never done anything else. Because then that's with the, I found the best car in the world, and I'm going to drive this car, and it's going to be my car forever. But you went and drove a Pujo. Remember that car? No, I don't. Oh. It's okay. okay. A, a Jetta? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, no, but you know what? When you do the car example, that's really scary because, you know, if all you knew were Toyotas. And, you, and you've and you never driven a Ford, a Lexus, um, a, a Mercedes, Rolls. a Rolls, a Bentley. You've never even seen these other cars. Right. All you've known in your life is Toyota. Forget it. You haven't even seen a damn Honda. Hyundai, for that matter. And it has 100,000 miles in 10 years powertrain warranty. 
No, you haven't even seen. <laughs> There's no warranty on... Toyotas are not giving you that kind of warranty. Wow. So you don't even know what other options you have out there. Wow. You've just seen this Toyota and it's just amazing. And you love this Toyota and this Toyota is amazing. It's wonderful for you. Mm -hmm. And you've committed yourself to this Toyota. But then you see a Hyundai driving by you. You're like, oh, that car is nice. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, your car, your Hyundai does that? <laughs> it's like, oh boy, your Hyundai talks to you too. That, that's that's like my friend. He, he bought a he bought a um, BMW, mm. but he bought it in in Germany. And got it, you know. Diff it's different because they're pre day. the precision, the precision in Germany over there. Uh huh. Versus putting it together over, over here, here, yeah, is a totally different thing. Because you don't have people worrying about, oh, I gotta go to lunch. Oh, yeah. that'd be all right. So um, mm -hmm. mm, it's a little off. It's off a centimeter. It's all right. Nobody yeah. ever know. Right. Wow. Yeah, it's a difference. Wow, I wish I had this game when I was in high school. Hey, girl, why are you talking to Johnson? You shouldn't talk to him. You talk to me. I know you love him, but you, <laughs> but you need to know what's going on. No I'm just saying. I'm just I'm not, saying, though. I'm not trying to bust up anybody's relationship. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do. Right. All I'm trying to do is get people to make conscious decisions. Right. But Go and, in with and, your eyes and open. And you know what? To be fair, especially for all those that are holding on you know waiting for marriage mm -hmm. um it doesn't necessarily i know you're you mean physically and, and that is a thing but the other side of it is to get to know as many people even mentally emotionally spiritually yes because at the end of the day like i mean the relationship you have is this really strong friendship yes you have to be friends with a lot of people of the opposite sex to really see what you like and you don't like exactly so even if they disagree with you there's still many angles that they need to take that approach. I mm -hmm. totally agree. Yes. Yeah. That's maybe important. you want you maybe you like butt rubs, and it's only one person that gave you the best damn butt rubs of your life. But if the other person was a foot rubber, you're like, yeah, feet rubbing is nice, but I like my booty rub. But how would you ever know that? You're not gonna rub your own booty because when you do that, that's just weird. I mean, I do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that's just weird. The, I do it on Tuesdays. I do it, I do it on Tuesdays. Today's but, my booty rub day. <laughs> yeah, you know. Heaven's yeah. the mega troll, I think. I'm just saying. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hot mess. I do. I know. Pray and, for me. <laughs> and for anyone that wants to physically go to your show, obviously you can order stuff from me. Absolutely. Online. You can order stuff online. Yeah. Um, we, again, my website is www triplexindulgenceboutique.com mm -hmm. that's triple x i n d u l g e n c e boutique.com um, we are located at 325 south street in the city of philadelphia mm -hmm. anyone familiar with philadelphia even in the smallest south street like everyone knows south street and i am in the between the three and four hundred block right across the street from the tla gotcha and that's what the uh, website looks like for those that want to to check that out. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how do you, because you're, you're still elevating as a person, obviously. Yes. You're yes. here. You're on the planet. I'm here. Um, is there anything specific that advice that you've given that now you say, you know what, you would, you would just not say that ever again? That, like now, now you're like, mm -hmm. you, you saw that where you were wrong or something that you used to sell that you're like, you know what, I would not sell that. Um, that's a really good question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and that's why you're talking with Michael, 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 Michael. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't necessarily say that there's any one thing that I, any one piece of advice that I have given. I can say though, that there are pieces of advice that I have not given or shied away from. Mm. Because I try to be um, positive and and engaging mm -hmm. and affirming in mm -hmm. everything that I do. Right. So if I feel like anything that I'm about to say is not going to do that, I just won't say it. Okay. So I feel as so there though, is a conscience here. You're not just talking oh, to be talking. Oh yeah, no. Okay. But I also give it to you straight up raw with no chaser. Like I am still New Yorker first. Okay. So I do gauge people's. You know, shout out to New Yorkers. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> like I do gauge people's spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do have discernment so I can see what people can tolerate and can't. Mm -hmm. So I'm very point, very, you know, you know, precise in how I, my delivery, my delivery may change, but the message is still the same. Okay. If you want the truth, I will give it 
to you to the best of my capabilities. If you want to lie, then don't come ask. Now because we have um, bleep water. Bleep water. And for those that can read. <laughs> Real fast. And, and that is wet. That is a four in one. That is flavored. That is stimulating. That is um, moisturizing, which is a lubricant. Yeah, that's um, that's a lot of different stuff. That's and a lot. And this of is the Sliquid Soul. That is liquid good. Soul. Sliquid. Sliquid. Slick with soul. Slick Say that three times real fast. Slick with soul. soul. Yeah, that is um, for ladies that maybe suffer from dryness, mm -hmm. vaginal dryness, whether it be for medication, mm -hmm. it could be chemo, it could be um, menopause, okay. that they're really dry. That is hemp infused lube. Slick wet. Hemp, hemp being the flower. You can see it. You mm -hmm. see the flower? There you go. Hemp. I said hemp. Right. Hemp. <laughs> it's legal. Hemp infused lubrication this is called a lube tube this is for anal um these are to help for people that like to explore anal mm. and want to try it this is the safest way you insert you in you actually put lubrication in here you put a little lube on the on the tip of the tube you insert it into the anal canal in the anal cavity and then you inject it and pull it out and it lubricates all the way through because now this you know just in case the whole purgatory thing is real, and let's say they're stricter on the other side than, than we thought. I just wanted to do a disclaimer. I'm just being a reporter right now. Oh my God. I'm just asking the so, questions. So, we, so I went to Catholic school when I was younger and they talked about purgatory. Uh -huh. And I was like, and that's why I, I, stayed in, I stayed in trouble, excuse me. Because uh -huh. I said, so you mean to tell me that there's actually a concept of if you're not good, and you're not all the way bad that you can go somewhere in the middle. I said, so what? Why not just do whatever the heck you want? Because you, you, you're going somewhere. Mm. You can always go to purgatory, right? That's a good place. So then you can go to purgatory and be good. Then you can go to heaven. They were like, you're such a bad girl. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just asking a question. Like, I literally you was. Like, you like, you want to be that revolutionary upstart that's like, well, wait a minute. These people ain't all that good. I what? can start a party up in this piece. Right. And then purgatory will be kind of hot. Hot. And now everybody won't be there. Everybody won't be in purgatory. <laughs> I'm just saying. You ain't right. I ain't right. <laughs> What's cinnamon? What is that? Cinnamon stick? This is comfortably numb, which is um, very, um, it's a deep throat spray for anything that you might want to put in your throat and not gag. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Really? Uh-huh. To numb your throat? To numb the back of your throat. Wow. I yep. Can't, I can't. What is that in the black tube? This is called Oralicious. I also have one that's called uh, D-I-C-K Alicious. I don't, I, ain't, I don't know if it's legal or not, but right. um, but this is um, a clitoral stimulator, and it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. It's not a lubricant or nothing, but it just stimulates it, just, you know, whatever. These are called Kegel Balls or Kegel. They I look really awesome if you made those eyes for puppets. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And they rumble. So these are two <laughs> They're strength. actually rumbling. Yeah, they do. Wow. They strengthen the pelvic floor. Okay. So this is a uno duo. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of graduate and go to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, these are anal toys. I recommend if for people that would like to try anal to start with a graduated toy like this, a trainer that is small, it's squishy. By the way, if this interview doesn't get the most comments, <laughs> then I don't know. I give up. You, what, you, you can't <laughs> see the comments right now? Um, I, I could, I actually could go and... Because I want to hear what people are saying. Do, do anybody have any questions? Let's see. Let's talk to me. It's talk, talk to, to me Tuesday in my summer of sex. To talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> uh, so, there's, so in, your, um, in your experience, there hasn't been anything that you were like, you, you, you refused to sell? Did I refuse? Oh, yeah, I will not oh, sell. Oh, no, or, okay, refuse to sell or you were selling and stopped selling? Um, well, I no, because let me tell you what I did. Okay. Before I started selling anything, mm -hmm. I educated myself. I went to L.A. to a an expo out there, and I met people in the industry, literally mm -hmm. um, the owner and operator of Cal Exotics, the owner and operator of Doc Johnson, the owner and operator of Pipe Dream, um, literally sat down with these people and talked. Mm -hmm. and learned from them and then learned and gleaned from people in the industry okay. and then i talked to my um my um 
reps at my distributors. Okay. I talk to people at the manufacturers, different ones for different things. Mm -hmm. And literally, I spent almost a full year just educating myself before I sold anything. Okay. So that's why I know, so, because I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to be the one that sold you a jelly dong mm -hmm. because it was cheap. And then you got it home and it melted because it was too hot in your, in your bedroom. Wow. Or next thing you know, you have all kinds of infections and different situations going on wow. because that's no longer um, body safe because wow. it was shipped here from another country because it was cheap. No, I take the time and I'm very meticulous about what I sell. I'm very particular about what I sell. That's why certain things that you can find in a Walmart or wherever you won't find in my boutique because I don't sell them. People wow. will come in and they'll say it. And I'm sure you can. There's right. two main, um, you know, personal lubricants that people or personal moisturizers that people use. And they're like, oh, well, I tried that. I'm like, OK, well, you'll never find that here because I don't sell it. Oh, there's wow. way too many chemicals in it. And it's it's questionable. I just don't sell it. I per that's my own personal conviction. I don't sell it. And you know it. what? It's, uh, okay, so let's say someone, for whatever reason, hey, I don't, I, I don't want to go and buy anything online. I, not gonna go to Philly, but I do. I'm, I'm super inspired by this, this interview, mm -hmm. and I want to start buying stuff. How can they be safe to make sure they're not buying something that? might physically harm them. Well, um, if you don't want to go online, mm -hmm. and if you're watching this, and that would mean you have some type of social media, you can reach out to me on Facebook. Um, we're Indulgence Boutique, which will be soon triple X Indulgence Boutique. Um, we are Indulgence Boutique on Facebook. On Instagram, we are there also. You can reach out to me. I, either myself or my staff, I answer everything. Everything comes to my phone. I'll show you right here. My phone is attached to me. Okay. Everything is, um, it comes directly to me. By the way, Rachel says, hello. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> That's my sister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, everything comes directly to me. So, if someone is comfortable, they want a video chat, we can do that. Okay. If they would like to do one-on-ones, we can do that. I do travel, especially in situations where I have people, I do have VIP clientele that I will go above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Those are people that are my big spenders. Mm -hmm. they, they really, and they support me a lot. So I will open up early. I will stay open late. I will travel and go to them. One thing I can say, because most of this here, I probably will, I wouldn't say probably, I will not use in uh -huh. my time. Uh -huh. But I tell you, this is the, <laughs> listen, son, <laughs> I, I still feel it. I told you, I have one for you that, that you, I'll leave it to you that you can, Son of a that you can, balls. that you can try. However you want to try it, if you got ashy elbows, yeah. if your knuckles get a little dry, yeah. if, your, if your lips are a little Because I'm trying to show off, you know. Mm -hmm. In fact, hit me up if you need something. Maybe. There you go. There, there you go. go. Keep There's that a, energy flowing. A plug. Yeah. Not that kind of plug, but a plug. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with those plugs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, God. I know. I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. You're <laughs> going to go to heaven. Listen, God put this here for me and for you. Actually, you know, it's very interesting. Um, so, people know of the Torah. Uh-huh. Right? But there are a lot of other books mm -hmm. that, and some of them go more into relationships. And... Allegedly, to my understanding, again, if I get this wrong, you could hit me up, that in the um, Judeo history, they say that, you know, advice, like you basically do, do, oh, do anything mm -hmm. to please your, your mate. As you should. Which is, which is interesting. I'm going to well, go. Within, within I'm gonna not do, breaking the law. Of right, 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 right. I'm going to do my little, my little shameless uh, church girl thing and just to quote mm -hmm. um, the King James Bible to say that there's a scripture that says marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled, which is to say that if you are married, if you are in a committed, you know, lifelong contract, whatever you do with your mate mm -hmm. is OK. Period. End of story. Mm. And so for people that feel like they want to judge, my thing is go judge your dear Aunt Sally mm -hmm. because you can't judge someone based on your values because there's someone else that's looking at you that you may not meet their standards either. Uh -huh. So be careful how many fingers you point or how many times you look at someone else because there's someone peeking in your window too. I, I feel that we've covered so much. Mm -hmm. 
and we pretty much hit almost every area you're not supposed to talk about. Why not? Which is part of like, you know, talking with Michael Michael. Michael Michael. Where you, uh, <laughs> you know, we're talking about sex, mm -hmm. we're talking about religion. Mm -hmm. The only other thing we didn't mention was politics. Okay. So if we're gonna, to, you know, make the censors upset, which yeah. is the internet, I don't know if there, there are any censors yet. Okay. Let's jump into it. Let's do it. Let's make everyone mad. Why not? So, obviously, we have a very interesting government, people people in power right now. Interesting. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're finding out more and more individuals that were supposed to be holier than thou and make, you know, trying to crack the whip on morality, starting to get in trouble with their prostitutes. Skele their skeletons trouble, their, are coming they're, they're, out their closet. All this different... Uh -huh. Messing around with Something kids. Skeletons. All, all this skeletons. Skeletons. We don't have to name them as skeletons. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that a lot of holier than thou people tend to throw certain words or, or some shade towards you? Then, then all of a sudden you find out that they're sneaking into your store and buying stuff? Um, they don't do it to me. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because I have zero issue with having the uncomfortable conversation. Gotcha. So if someone comes to me or if I hear someone say, mm -hmm. oh, well, such as so and so, I have zero issue with coming like, um, uh, we need to talk because I heard that you said X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Is there something that you would like to talk to me about? Mm -hmm. So people don't like that wow. about me, mm -hmm. but I love that about myself because I tell people if anyone comes to you and say, Rena said, don't believe them because anything I say once I could darn sure say it again. And I will. Is sex political? I don't consider sex political. However, mm -hmm. it has been, I'm going to create a word, mm -hmm. policized. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun, 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 You hit it first. <laughs> yeah. I just created that just so you know that ain't a word. I just created one. No, but I feel like they have taken sex Mm -hmm. and used it as a political platform, mm -hmm. a launching pad, along with drugs. You know, only right. thing they haven't used is rock and roll. But sex, mm -hmm. drugs, mm -hmm. to kind of catapult them into the popular areas wherever they want to. So if they want to be on the conservative side, mm -hmm. they'll use the conservative views. That includes abortion, that includes, you know, all of these things that we kind of skirt over, skirt mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. I definitely, without a doubt, believe that there are people that have, everyone is a, is a sexual person. You can't tell me you don't get no tingling down there for something. Dun, 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 Whether, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And when you do. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Yes. Um, everyone get, gets urges. It's, it's, if you don't get urges, then that is something that is abnormal because it is gotcha. normal for you to have urges. What's for your legacy? Before we go, because we're going. So what is your um, legacy? Openness. Openness and, and love. That's me. That I'm just open and I love people and I love who I am. Mm -hmm. And I, it took a lot for me to get here. It took a lot of rejection a lot of being put down, a lot of being talked about, a lot of being lied on. Mm -hmm. And finally, for, well, I just say middle finger up, man. I don't care. I'm going to do my thing. Whether you like it or don't, either you roll with it or it's going to roll over you. But this train is leaving the station, whether you're on it or not. And we're going to leave it right there with love. And openness. And openness. Yes. So you're watching this episode of Sex, Sex Energy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's wafting in here. <laughs> Say your name and your website. Rena J D. We are www.xxxindulgenceboutique.com. Again, that is www.indulgence boutique.com. Here's some stuff. Here's some Here's stuff. Here's the lady. Here's the We're lady. We're here talking. We hit so talking with Michael Michael. Michael Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Michael Michael. And thank you so much for checking out another episode of Talking with Michael Michael. Enjoy the journey. Have a good one. Have a good one.